In this video, we're going to evaluate this expression by first applying bed mass. Now before evaluating the expression, let's recall what bed mass states. Bed mass states that if you have an expression with brackets, exponents, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you should always apply your brackets first, then your exponents, then division, multiplication, addition, then subtraction. I want you to now pause this video and try evaluating this expression, but first remember to apply your bed mass rules. So here you would have an expression within these brackets which has another set of brackets that must be evaluated first. So go ahead and try this example on your own. Now as stated, we have brackets within brackets which means this inside bracket must be applied first. So the 4 and 3 fifths is going to remain untouched and we're going to evaluate what's inside the round bracket. Now in the round bracket we have multiplication of two fractions. To multiply two fractions all we would have to do is simply multiply each numerator and multiply each denominator by each other. So in this case, 7 times 9 gives us 63, and 3 times 2 gives us 6. So 63 over 6 would be the answer for the inside bracket. Now the next step would have to be to subtract 8 because that is within the square brackets. Now to subtract 8 from the fraction 63 over 6, we would first have to get a common denominator. So let's take a look at that value of 8. 8 is actually equivalent to the fraction 8 over 1. Now if we wanted that fraction of 8 over 1 to have a denominator of 6, all we would have to do is take 8 over 1 and multiply it by the fraction 6 over 6 this would give us a fraction of 48 over 6 which is equivalent to the number 8. So we haven't done anything wrong. So ultimately this number 8 here is equivalent to the fraction 48 over 6 and now we have common denominator and we could subtract those two fractions within the square bracket. In our next step the 4 and 3 fifths is going to stay untouched for now and we're going to convert 8 into a fraction which has a common denominator of 6. So 63 over 6 is going to remain the same and 8 as shown in the purple on the right is equivalent to 48 over 6. Now we can subtract these two fractions within the square brackets because we're applying our bed mass rules. 4 and 3 fifths is going to remain the same and 63 over 6 minus 48 over 6 reduces to 15 over 6. We have a common denominator, so we just subtract both numerators and put that value 15 over the denominator 6. We need to add this mixed fraction to this improper fraction. In order to add the mixed fraction to the improper fraction, we would have to first convert this mixed fraction to an improper fraction. So on the aside, let's convert 4 and 3 fifths into an improper fraction. In order to do this, we would just multiply 4 times 5 and add 3 to that and put this over the denominator of 5. This would reduce to 20 plus 3 over 5, which gives us a fraction of 23 over 5. So our mixed fraction here is actually equivalent to an improper fraction of 23 over 5. So 23 over 5 plus 15 over 6 would give us our final answer. However, to add these two fractions we would need a common denominator. Now the easiest method to find a common denominator is to multiply both parts of the fraction 
by the denominator of the other fraction. So in this case, the 23 over 5 would have to be multiplied by 6 over 6, and the 15 over 6 would have to be multiplied by the 5 over 5. This would then give us a common denominator so that we can add these two fractions. So in this first one here, that would be multiplied to an answer of 138 over 30, and the second one would multiply to 75 over 30. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add these two fractions, so add both numerators to 213 and keep it over the denominator 30. Now you'll notice that this isn't the most reduced fraction. You can divide both numerator and denominator by the value of 3, and if you do that, this fraction reduces to 71 over 10, which is your final answer.